Hi, welcome everyone. In this video of Gauss, we will be estimating a panel stationarity test, uh, which includes structural breaks, and it is also second generation test that it it also incorporates the uh, cross section dependence. This test is made by Saban, Nazli, Nazli Blue, and Sigan Karul, and it is published in Econometric Economic Modeling. The model that I found is it, it is documentation is in this Gauss. So this test for panel stationarity it means it's null hypothesis. Uh, null hypothesis is the data is stationary, and then if you go for the documentation, so you have to load the library. Uh, so this is the command, and it is simple. So you will write library tspdlib. So it, it should have brackets. So it will be loaded. Then what you can do is you will load the data. So when you load the data, uh, my data is already loaded. The so y1 variable in the panel data format. So how it is panel data? Because the data that I loaded has been to here. So I have just subsetted the data into um, uh, so that I can run unit two on one. So a model should be equal to one. That is good here. So and then I will write uh, p d f z k b d f z k equal to so the when i write the equation p d f z k y comma model comma 4 it will give me this so the test value is uh, 33.16 and the f z k value is 225.59 and p value is significant so this is saying the data is non stationary at level so, so this way we can estimate the 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 this unit two test which is suitable for second generation data and and it is mentioned in this documentation that it it, it is uh, the model that paper proposes simple structure that which takes into account structure shift and cross section dependency so the author claims that it is um, it is uh, suitable where even if there is cross section dependency and it calls for structural shifts which is commonly nowadays documented as third generation panel unit 2 test hope this test will help you to to improve your uh, uh, papers and uh, using advanced uh, tests so this this study will uh, this video will guide you to use this test using Gauss. Thank you.